the historic Pueblo Union Depot building in Pueblo, Colorado, hosted their 27th annual Oktoberfest event on September 15th and 16th, 2017. Oktoberfest was just one of many Union Depot events held this year, in which guests of the Pueblo Railway Museum had the opportunity to hitch a ride on a real train. But a train like this doesn't just happen. Someone has to put it together, like a big toy. Let's take a quick look behind the scenes to see how that's done. The weekend before the Oktoberfest event, a few of our Pueblo Railway Museum volunteers arrive at the D Street shop to piece together the train that our Oktoberfest visitors will ride the following weekend. GP7 diesel engine number 104, seen on the right in this picture, has been chosen for the occasion. It's all spruced up and ready to go. The task at hand seems simple enough. Connect that engine to these two cabooses. But moving trains around in a train yard takes careful planning and special training. Here, Paul Brown keeps close watch during a switch crossing. On this day, Dwight Maxey is our engineer in the engine's cab. In short order, the train cars are rearranged and our passenger train is assembled flawlessly. The following Saturday finds dozens of Oktoberfest visitors riding our train. As with the museum's other events, our guests can choose to ride in the engine or in one of the cabooses. As the train pulls into the station behind the Pueblo Union Depot building, it passes another of the museum's featured attractions, the Santa Fe 2912 steam engine. This beautifully restored piece of railroad history attracts visitors from across the region, not just to see the engine, but to get their picture taken, standing next to this enormous, magnificent machine. Some of our very young guests preferred riding something a little less intimidating and a little more cuddly. Under the big tent, our visitors could enjoy a bite to eat, along with some beer tasting, this is, after all, Oktoberfest. Complete with live German music provided by the Primetime Band. But according to this event flyer, there's another special exhibit yet to be visited. We've seen the big trains. Now let's go check out the little trains. In the Pueblo Union Depot's main hall, there is an intriguing sight. Something big and interesting at the hall's far end. Closer inspection reveals an entire metropolis in miniature. And everywhere you look, there are trains. This enormous train layout covers over 400 square feet. Although many types of model trains use two rails on each track, this design, made by the Lionel Corporation, uses three rails per track. Three separate tracks run independently, encircling each other all the way around the layout. The controls are high-tech. All the trains can be controlled from a single point with the help of a computer. The plastic shielding around the outside of the layout serves as protection, not only for the delicate model work, but for the protection of curious young fingers as well. Let's take a tour of this tiny train town that we'll call Lionel City. Visitors first entering Lionel City are sure to notice its largest structure, the Big Top Tent. This tent is the centerpiece of the Lionel City Circus and Amusement Park. It's the venue for the Little Boys Big Top, but don't be misled by the Little Boys masculine moniker. Girls are part of this talented troupe as well. After some fun under the Big Top, Several amusement rides beckon from the opposite side of the train tracks. To ensure the safety of the circus visitors, as well as to provide a spectacular view of the passing trains, 
thoughtful city planners gladly approved the installation of a pedestrian bridge. Once at the amusement park, visitors could find themselves going around in circles. Or they might enjoy a smaller circus under this little top. Lionel City residents can sleep well knowing that their hard-earned money is secure at the bank. Should anyone attempt to make an unauthorized withdrawal, an alert policeman is always close at hand to apprehend the miscreant. In addition to a top-notch education system, Lionel City has all the essentials a thriving metropolis needs to ensure the well-being of its citizens, including a police station, city hall, and a fire department. The pharmacy and hospital are, not coincidentally, right next to each other. The tent visible between the two buildings is of course where our daredevil circus acrobats perform. Having the hazardous high wire act just across the tracks from the hospital is also not a coincidence. Lift up the roof of the hospital and compassionate caregivers can be seen helping those in need. In the real city of Pueblo, Colorado, the Pueblo Chieftain newspaper has few rivals. But in Lionel City, it faces stiff competition from a local upstart, the Lionel News. Life moves at a brisk pace in Lionel City. The main mode of transportation is, of course, the trains. Train platforms are strategically located throughout the city to make using trains easy for commuters and tourists alike. But there are also plenty of roads for bustling automobile traffic. And there are two diners in town which cater specifically toward those who believe that getting from point A to point B in style requires only two wheels. In Lionel City, recreational opportunities are plentiful. Lake Lionel is the town's most popular fishing destination. Here, you're never far from someone eager to show you the size of the fish that got away. The attention to detail in this model train layout is simply amazing. As any young aspiring model railroader will tell you, laying down a circle of track and running a train around it is in itself an accomplishment. But to get the full fascinating effect of a living, breathing town in motion requires buildings, roads, vehicles, plants, animals, lights, the occasional sound effects, and lots of tiny people, of course. But it's the generosity of people in the real world that makes this Lionel City train layout come to life. Running this railroad takes many hours of painstaking work by some of our most dedicated Pueblo Railway Museum volunteers. Thanks to Diana Applegate, Dwight Maxey, John McDowell, Colin Mellon, and Ron Roach for building and running the Lionel train layout during Oktoberfest weekend. A special thank you goes to Ryan McWilliams, a member of the Pueblo Railway Foundation's Board of Directors, for his invaluable assistance in moving the Lionel train set from its storage location in the D Street shop to the Union Depot building's main hall and back again following the event. Thanks also to the volunteers who kept our big trains running. Paul Brown, Colin Mellon, Bill Byers, and Mike Doty. And of course, the Pueblo Railway Foundation is always grateful for the patronage of our guests. Halloween is just around the corner and the Pueblo Railway Museum always has something special planned. We hope to see you then. <laughs>